Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I've just got quick cleaning motivation for you guys. So get up and clean along with me, get that to-do list out, and let's start checking it off. And hey, I just wanted to show you guys something real fast before I put my rugs in here. Do you see that ring that gets around there? My husband's a diesel mechanic, so his clothes tend to leave that. So I try to get, take a wet magic eraser and that will just come right off. So I don't know if you guys experience that just with your regular clothes, but I'm blaming it on my husband's work clothes and I just get it off with that magic eraser. It just comes right off. So I'm gonna do this real quickly before I put my rugs in the washing machine. Let me know down below if you also have that problem with your washing machine. And just a quick after shot. So now, no more ring around the washing machine. Okay, let's get our rugs in here to wash. And hey, did y'all notice that I took my towels out of the load of clothes I brought into the utility room while ago? I cannot wash anything with my rugs, like towels or regular clothes. I just cannot do it. I have to wash towels separately really from any of my clothes. So let me know in the comments below. Do you wash your bath uh, towels? Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Your bath towels and your uh, rugs that are in your bathroom together or do you separate them? And sorry guys, Drake is walking around in the background so you can hear her toenails on that floor. Okay. So I've got some Clorox in there. Let me put some detergent. And I used to have a white rug in front of my dish, my um, washing machine, and now it's a plaid one. I would throw that white rug in there also, but now I hate to throw the plaid one in there because I've bleached these. So I'm just going to put these two rugs in here by itself, put it on medium load, and get it to washing. Yeah, we got the summer for All right, so now that I've taken this antibacterial spray, it's from Method, it's a bathroom cleaner. I've sprayed it all down on my vanity. You're supposed to let it, I believe, sit there for a little bit and kind of let it do its job before you wipe it off. So I'll take the time to open this pumice stone and I've got a lot of hard water stains in my commode. So in a second, I'll show you how I use that stone to get those stains out. Now that everything is getting clean, I'm going to take a dry cloth and I'm just going to wipe everything down with this dry cloth. I'm going to be adding some fall decorations to this bathroom, so be sure to stay to the end of the video so that you can see what all I decorate with.
If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm so happy that you're here. Please leave me a comment below in the comment section. I absolutely love talking to my subscribers in the comment section. It's a great way to hang out and get to know each other. Even better, if uh, you're not following me over on Instagram, my handle is at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that handle here below. I'd love for us to follow each other over on Instagram. And if you love homemaking content, I have a ton of it here on my channel. So if you want to take a second and hit that red subscribe button, I would love to have you join this YouTube community that we have. All right, so let's get the commode cleaned here. I'm just gonna show you Clorox wipes, Clorox disinfectant with bleach, some paper towels, and some rubber gloves. Those are my tools for getting the commode really spick and span. We're not gonna clean the bathtub today. I tend to really scrub my bathtub down when I'm taking a shower, so it really didn't need a scrubbing today. So we're just gonna concentrate on cleaning this commode. So here I'm just gonna spray it down with this bleach, let it sit there for just a little bit, and struggle with putting these rubber gloves on. And also here in a second, you'll show me when I go to, I'll show you when I go to use this pumice stone to get um, the inside of the commode really clean. Let me know in the comments if you also have hard water stains. I referred a girlfriend to use a pumice stone in her, on her commode and she did not realize that it wouldn't scratch the inside of it. So she was very happy and she got hers really clean because of that tip. So here's just a quick before shot of the hard water stains. I'm just going to take just a little bit of this pumice rock and I'm just going to kind of show you how I just scrape it really good and it just comes right off. It does require some elbow grease, but it will work and it will not scratch your commode. Okay, so here's what's left of the little size of the pumice stone that I had used. And it took me maybe 10 minutes, guys. It was a job. I've got some arthritis coming in my hands, warming in my hands. So it's kind of a tough job, but so worth it. Look at the after. Okay, let me show you the bathroom real quickly before I add some fall touches to it. Um, everything is kind of fresh and clean, kind of a clean palette, if you would. Uh, every decoration I'm gonna be using in this bathroom, except for one thing I got from the Hearth and Hand Collection, but all the other decorations are what I got from Big Lots last year. I love them, so I wanted to use them once more in this year's 
video in my bathroom. So the grandbaby's on his way. So let's get to adding some fall touches to my master bathroom. About you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. But maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. I get too drunk. To settle down That'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say Okay, now that I've got my fall touches added to my master bathroom, let's give the floors a good scrubbing also. I hope guys this encourages you to get in and clean your master bathroom. I know this is my least area of the house to clean, so we all need some motivation to do that. So get up, get in there and get it cleaned if you didn't clean with me. If you haven't ever considered putting some fall touches in your master bathroom, I hope this encourages you to do that. I think it's a cute little touch since company does use this main bathroom in the house. So I think it's a great little idea to put a little fall touch on it. So if you're still watching my video, guys, thank you so much. You tremendously help my channel when you watch my videos all the way through the end and gives it a thumb and give it a thumbs up. And hit that rep subscribe button if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video. Bye.